I'm a firm believer that you can argue anything um, as long as you present your argument in a sound way. Anything can can be, you know, argued as, you know, this is a, a thing that's reasonable if, you know, you you do it right. Of course, there are some things that I don't think can be argued uh, at all. Um, those those are usually like uh, completely like amoral kind of things, you know. And those I, I relegate those to like very few things that I personally think cannot be argued. But I think almost anything can be argued if you just try to. Uh, understand the other perspective well enough and if they explain themselves well enough and their argument is sound but with this in mind I don't I, I, I got a chip on my shoulder about about an, a video I did like three days ago about um, why Unikitty will suck and I got a few comments on reddit or um, on um, what was it on uh, on my YouTube comments saying like just taking my points out of context either they would take my points out of context or I would respond to their comment and then they take my response out of context they would take these like one sentence um, that you know had an entire paragraph just about that one topic but they took out this one random sentence to make me look bad etc or they just completely misunderstood one thing that I said like I had this one guy named I think Phil J I think that was his name um, he said well you know nothing about the industry I mean here's a comment where you asked what Adult Swim does in quotes when this comment was a joke by Splatmaster where he said um you know uh what what did he say he said like um uh he said um it, well at least there's adult swim and then it said dot 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 oh wait and like basically what that comment is if you don't have a sense of humor what that comment is is insinuating that Adult Swim did something bad. So I reply to his comment, what did they do? Because I like Adult Swim. I never noticed them really do anything that, that bothered me or that I thought uh, was a problem. So yeah, I was like, what did they do? What did they do? Um, and he said, Mr. Pickles, etc. You know, I hate Mr. Pickles for this and this reason. And I was saying, oh yeah, I like Mr. Pickles. I might defend that show someday. And he took this con comment out of context as as if I was asking, like, well, what does Adult Swim do with their animation or something like that? Because he was accusing me of not knowing about the industry, um, which uh, is a completely different other can of worms. I've read a lot about the industry. I've seen plenty of documentaries, but I know I haven't worked there, so I don't know exactly what it's like beyond the recorded available information so um and that video wasn't even about the industry this guy was just trying to make me look you know like an like an idiot but in the process he ended up making himself look like an, an even giant or idiot so i respond to this comment um and and i tell him like yeah you're taking so many of my points out of context and then he outright lies about some things i said you know he said you know, you don't like the direction that OKKO OK and Steven Universe are heading in. I have never said that. In fact, I have adamantly defended the direction Steven Universe is going in. On the D-pad, there's recorded conversation online of me defending where Steven Universe has headed. So I don't know where this guy got this one but I digress basically the point I was trying to make is when you're arguing with someone don't take their points out of context don't don't try to cherry-pick um, I've been thinking a lot about this lately about the concept of cherry-picking and confirmation bias basically what cherry-picking is 
is when you, like I said, take something out of context in order to make your own argument look good. And confirmation bias is when you, I, I guess, come into it um, trying to get one thing and you're biased about that one thing so you don't argue logically is how I would explain it. So um, that's basically what a lot of these people are doing instead of just arguing their own point. There are great arguments that I myself have came up with against my own points against my own points I've sat here and said you know okay so what if say a person doesn't care about the aesthetics of the show let's say this person doesn't really care about the comedy of the original Lego movie the way I do what if they just want a show about Unikitty then there's the argument and you could further explain that there's a great argument against my points there. There's plenty of other ways to argue against my points than to just sit there and take them out of context and to try to make me look like some kind of villain or something. Why can't we just debate like normal people? Why can't I say, well, I disagree with this, so let me hear your points. And, well, I disagree with this, so let me kind of debate this point or whatever, you know? and then come to a mutual understanding that we disagree. Why is that so hard? Why is it so hard? It's... I don't... I don't understand these... I, I don't understand. Um, it's... This shouldn't... I don't know. This shouldn't be a problem. I... Because there's... Like, I have found flaws in my own arguments. I found, you know, ways to argue around myself Yet these people have to cherry pick for their confirmation bias, you know. And <sighs> there's really no reason to unless you just hate me or something or are an idiot yourself and don't know you're cherry picking, you know. Um, so, yeah, don't take things out of context in arguing. Um, it, it'll only make you look dumb in the end. When you're arguing with someone, you should approach it with empathy and try to understand the other perspective. With everyone who disagreed with me on that video, I legitimately tried to understand their perspective if it wasn't one that I've heard in my own head to myself, you know. Um, and I'm fine with disagreeing, I'm fine with arguing with people, you just try to understand the other perspective and to approach the subject matter with empathy instead of just trying to yell at each other, you know? Um, because, honestly, I don't hate you if you disagree with me. In fact, you know, you could disagree with me and argue way better and probably sound more reasonable than that video did, you know? Um, so, I don't, I don't, I don't, see why people need to take these things out of context unless they're just not good enough at arguing to argue it for themselves and in that case I say you know try to consume a lot of like good argumentation you know read a lot of philosophical arguments or something or go to some Wikipedia article or wiki how article on how to argue and then I guess practice it or don't if you don't care enough then stop arguing you know uh, if you're going to sit there and argue all day then at least learn how to do it properly uh, or else you're just gonna make yourself look like an idiot and no one's gonna like you you know when you take people's points out of context it's gonna make them mad um, so yeah uh, that's my little spiel about taking things out of context. I either it's from people who don't know how to argue or don't have a good enough point and they just want to make you look bad or don't know that they're cherry picking. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Don't take things out of context. <sighs>